second. We just All right, talk. guys, we're live. We're, we're live. We're live. Here we go. Uh, we want to start off today right off the bat. Right off the talk bat. Talk about old Alex Murdahl's uh, double life sentence that, convicted. That ain't all. That's just partial. They what got more know? for him. They probably ain't through with him. They ain't through with him. Because you know he got him for embezzling and all that shit, oh, too. Oh, yeah, man. He was an attorney, right? I already stole like a half a million dollars from one client. Yeah. Oh, more, way yeah. more. And, and you got to think, this is an old man. Anybody going to kill him? Yeah, they, ain't, ain't, no, ain't, no sense say, ain't no sense of feeding them. The question is, is this guy just a psychopath or what? I mean, he's obviously... No, he ain't no psychopath. He just did some shit, thought he was going to get away with yeah. it. Yeah, well, no, he did some shit, <laughs> got away with it, <laughs> thought he could just keep going, yeah. and then and, and, and Well, he got away with family. money, then. Things didn't work out. Pressure hit his ass. I bet. Pre- I hey, bet. pressure hit him. Now, <laughs> now he finna get some more pressure on him. I, I guarantee. <laughs> but before yeah. before he died, though, like I said. He's about to get the fleece on him. <laughs> then somebody need to fleece Johnson. They need to take his ass to yeah. Kentucky State Pen. Yeah, He's I don't put him out and let him, let, him, let him spend the night with old fleece. Yeah. <laughs> fleece getting right. <laughs> They got a whole wing tied Hey, well, please, we, 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 we counting on you, please. We counting on you. Please, Johnson is officially called the booty pirate. Yeah, like he, the he's, booty the, pirate. he's the man. He's the man. VP. I don't just know. Like a gas station. Hey, <laughs> let me tell you, I just went out a couple of weeks ago. Hey, we got some fleece. We got some fleece Johnson running around in Nashville, too, man. Do it. Man. It's getting wild hey, out there. Hey, I thought I was, I thought I was stunned on them folks, man. I had my other shades on, you know, with the downs, you know. Oh, they looking at me like I'm a full course meal. <laughs> <laughs> I politely zip my jacket up. They said it's time to go. Turned, turned around to the bar and start looking at sports. <laughs> hey, he's all man. You best yeah. believe it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. That was a good short. Yeah. But they need to hit him with a broomstick. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that. But anyway. Yeah. Hey, he need what he, hey, he, he need. He got what, it he coming. Need every bit of uh, it. Listen, he's got it coming. <laughs> listen, speaking of jail, jail time. Man, let's talk about the potato chip heist. Oh my goodness! In okay, Memphis. so 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 you know more. You read more about the article, Junior. Than M Town, y'all folks got to do better than that, man. Yeah, man. It's getting oh, crazy hey, out here. They quick to lock a man up for some potato chips, but they don't want to lock a man up for killing. I know. That, that's <laughs> crazy. I'm not understanding this one. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> hey, and he didn't even steal it. No, he just because you know. what happened was was a dude like he, he wouldn't sell me liquor, so he took they was yeah they wouldn't sell him no liquor. Rack. He took the whole potato chip rack. Whole potato chip dropped rack. a couple outside, you know. Somebody pulls up thinking, hey, but he had enough time. Chips. But he had enough time to argue with the counter, argue with the lady at the counter, pick the potato chips up, still argue with the lady, put the potato chips in his car and pull out. And then someone picks up a couple bags that he dropped and starts eating them when they come and arrest they that guy. Him. Yeah, yeah. He, he's going down. He, he's taking the hey, rap. Look, look, but man, some days when I think I'm having a bad day, I hear something like that. And I go, oh, man, yeah. I ain't having that hey, bad of a day. It ain't that bad. It ain't it that ain't crucial, that, It ain't that deep, homie. Hey, only, <laughs> only in Memphis. Only in Memphis. Yeah. Only in Memphis, Tennessee. Right now, Memphis now, is I can't say I didn't had some trouble in Memphis, though. <laughs> I can't man, say that. Memphis, man, the devil runs Memphis. Yeah, dude. It will always run Memphis, man. Bill, Bill Street and me, we got a thing going on, you know? <laughs> Let me tell you, man. I'm going to tell you all a story, man. This is funny as hell. So, man, here we are, man. I'm working with Collective Soul, right? So, <laughs> so all of a sudden, man, I go in the kitchen, man, to get something to eat. And, man, the wind is busted out. Somebody broke the window out? Yeah, listen to this. Listen to this shit. And there's a rock in the middle of the floor. And I'm like, what the hell? So, man... So I was like, what the, so we got on camera, this dude, man, had a towel over his head. And he threw the rock through the freaking window, right? And we couldn't tell he had his license plate covered up. Well, days go on. About two days later, this time he threw it through the lounge window. All right? Well, man, Pops at this point, man, you He's know. pissed. Pops is like, what the hell's going on? Yeah. Who is, so this, man, who is this rag band? <laughs> this, this is what's funny. <laughs> so for Halloween... Halloween was coming around, so we all camoed up in the trees. We got walkie-talkies, man, and everything, man. We're ready for this summer. We know he's coming back on Halloween. Never came back. Then, didn't come back that night. So then, the next night, we're up there shooting pool, man, me and Kev Coe and Spicoli and a bunch of us. Well, no, Spicoli was downstairs. He comes running upstairs and goes, dude, done pulled up, dude, done pulled up. Man, he's we here. Listen, we had some paint balloons ready. And he done knocked out the windows like three or four times, man. This dude had a rag over his head coming through the door. All right, so so listen, this, this is what's great. So Spicoli runs upstairs. He's like, he's out of the parking lot. He's out of the parking lot. So, man, 
or, or he's or he's driving down the road. He saw him, you know, he got him early. So, man, I sneak out to the freaking uh, fence, you know, and I'm hiding behind a fence, right, waiting on him to pull up. <clears throat> and um, Kevco sneaks out, man. He's crawling to his car. And, man, listen to this. I can tell this story now because it's been years. Man, so here I, I get, as soon as he pulled up, he stopped right in front of the studio. I get out with a freaking yellow paint balloon. And I rear back and I nailed that so much did this. He did a triple take at me. He couldn't believe I was standing right there, man. He freaked out. Well, hit, hit him I, hit him with a, I hit him with a yellow one, I hit him with a red one, and hit him with a blue one. I'm, I'm, I'm chasing him down the street, throwing balloons at him, right? Kevco comes around the corner, picks me up. He picks me up in his car. We chase after him, and he turns around right there on a, what's the name of that street, street in front of the House of Blues? I can't remember. He come, He starts playing chicken with us. Lights on. And Kevco gets out. It's just like, it's just like a Clint Eastwood movie. <laughs> you know, he's a big old black dude like Junior, man. I mean, yeah. he, Kevco gets out of the car. He pulls his thing out. Pulls he starts just out. letting off at his radiator, <laughs> man. Boom, boom. I'm like, oh, shit. This dude, and you know what he did? The dude just sits there and stops and just stares at us. Then he slowly puts it in reverse and just takes off, right? Oh, man, it gets better. So we're like, never could find him. Call the cops. Man, he's got a paint all over his car. There's no way you could. Cause what we wanted to do was tag him, you know? Yeah. We put up those paint balloons for that. Dude, next day, next day, Spicoli comes run upstairs again. He's here. No. He's at, he's at King Co's own union. He's at King <laughs> Co's union. <laughs> <laughs> so we all go up to union, man. Listen to this. No, here, here's the best part of the story. The best part of the story is the cops go in there, right? And, man, this dude has his drawers all the way down to his feet. He's jerking off in the back of freaking goddamn Kiko's, man. <laughs> they they got him out there dicking all out of <laughs> He ate up. And dude, so then, so here's how it went down, though. So listen to this. This is great. So, so he said that Pops had put a satellite into the air in, in space that's beaming messages to him. Swear to God, and Pops has the documentation. I will bring that on the podcast and show y'all. <laughs> I'll, I'll have Pops send me the documentation. He had Pops, to, I'm so sorry. Girl, yeah, he, he, people like that, Pops you know? had to go to court, like in Washington over this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like they really. <laughs> cocaine was, is a hell of a drug. <laughs> drug dude. Dude, that, cocaine, that, was, that was one of the most. And, the and that's a Memphis guy. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, the guys in Collective So was, man, it was awesome. Like we were like all excited because that we, was, we had this guy part. coming back. We're going to get. His ass. <laughs> Look at that, and them guys. He got his Ross and them guys. Oh I wonder God. how many I mean, of those. Fun as shit. I wonder how many of those songs might be about the fucking Tao Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dude. This dude had a. He'd have a white rag over his head. And come up to the door, and you can see him in the camera, man, just throwing, bust out of glass. That shit was funny, funny. as hell. But I mean, Pops was pissed, you know. <laughs> well, of course. Of course, the insurance was paying for it. But still, it's okay. a hassle, man. And, but we had cameras all over that place and still couldn't catch it. Dude, it's a hassle, man. You, it, you anyway. deal with these companies, man, they're a hassle. Anyway, deductibles and waiting on it. Uh, what's funny is, is Andy Paul told me last night, he said, man, you need to start telling stories on your podcast. So there's one that's funny there, as shit. That is. That's funny as hell, man. That that dude, man, was like crazy as bad shit. He's like, yeah. he's, he's like, I mean, man, we had some good times back at that studio. Yeah. Now it's just sitting there. That rolling, was a house of blues, yeah. right? That yeah. hurts my oh, heart, yeah. man. That was, that was dead, dead, dead I miss, I miss Memphis. That was in the Yeah, there was hell. great parts of me. Hey, we still got oh, Babs. Dude. We still got Babs in Memphis. We still got some Memphis Man, blood. I just miss like, like doing big time records there, man. Like, we, we always were doing every single freaking month huge. we were doing huge records all, and if it wasn't a huge band already it was going to be a huge band Memphis Dude, they, was, they all the ended up music, man. what's they, that Memphis always had the vibe for music but every record was a huge record Malcolm yeah, I and mean you, it you was know, even if it did, it, when it didn't start as a huge record it became that and I think that that is part of the whole Memphis and even even further south man you know well, you Pops, Pops man set the whole thing up with, with, with the Stevie Ray Vaughan recording there and um um uh let me see who who else did it before that um sam and dave recorded sam and there. dave yeah. see and when sam and dave recorded Come there on. of course steve ray vaughn wanted to record there you know we're talking like an isaac hayes and all oh, these yeah, people isaac i got to work with him. i mean yeah. I'm, I'm so fortunate to have known him and so fortunate to have worked on those records and, and grew up around those yes. men because those men taught me how to act and literally taught me how to act you know um, not that my mom and my dad didn't. It was wasn't it wasn't that. It was just that they taught me about the world. Yeah. They taught me how the real world was and 
you know, you had Benny Maybone and you had you, you had so many great men around there that that um I don't even know if Mr. Benny's still alive or not, man. Uh I don't either. I hope so. I, mean, I hope so too, man. But uh but the funny story Isaac Hayes told me. Isaac he, listen, the man. Isaac Hayes told me this story. He said, <laughs> Malcolm, hey Malcolm, Malcolm, we went to we went and toured Australia. There was twelve of us. Only three of us came home. I'm like, what do you mean? Man, bitches are so hot over there, man. Everybody stayed. Everybody hooked up with the woman to stay. And they really did. They really did. They really hey, did. Uh, Vernon told me the same thing. He's like, you know, went over there to write. <laughs> went over there Australia. to write. With, yeah, I went to Australia. Man. Went over there to write with Keith, though. You know, went over there with Keith Urban. Right, right. He was like, man, never wanted to come home, you know. So, man, I don't know if I could tell this on the podcast, but I'm going to. So here's a good here's a good Isaac Hayes story. This is the funniest shit you've ever heard. <laughs> okay, so you know how tight me and him was. I mean, yeah. we, I mean, he was just like a family to me, you know. And uh, and I man, I miss him so bad. I wish I could just call him right now and say, "Hey, man, can you come on the podcast?" You, you know, know he would. But man, here's what's funny is old Ron Christopher, biggest asshole I ever met. Put that on the All podcast. Right. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he was an asshole. <laughs> But, man, he had porno running the entire time we were working, every single day. And constantly. everybody wonders why I have a dirty mind. All right, so they had porno running, like, constantly. Like, you know, we're yeah. sitting there working, and I'm like, man, this is, you know what I mean? It's, it got kind of rough in there, you know, because, it's, you know. It's, I've been there. <laughs> and, and, well, man, listen to this. So Nina Hartley was always on there, right? And old Isaac would always say, man, man, Malcolm, Nina Hartley got the best ass in porn. So I just so happened to go out to Platinum Plus, which is the local Memphis great titty bar, yeah. um, strip club. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say titty bar. Yeah, gentlemen's strip club, gentlemen's club. club. And I pull up here because a buddy of mine was a Jake DJ. Jones. <laughs> Jake Jones. So, hey, I like I like so A buddy of mine was a DJ out there. So I pull up one night, just out of the blue, and it said. Next week, Nina Harley on the freaking marquee thing. You're like, it's meant to be, man. I go in there, I'm like, dude, listen. It's meant to be. You got to do me a favor. It's Isaac's birthday next week. Put man, him on the VIP. We, we, we have to introduce these two. You know, he goes, hey, man, we'll, we'll do a special thing. He can come in the back door. He can go straight to the office. Won't nobody recognize him, you know, because it's so dark in there, you yeah. know. Because it was a dark. He had it where we were going down this dark hallway. People couldn't see us very well. You know what I mean? We didn't want his reputation hurt. So I set it all up. We, I told, I, did, I told him, I said, I said, man, we gotta have a limo. So his manager gets a limo, pulls up there. Here we are on our way out there, right? And uh, we pull up, and, and uh, of course they have the sign down now because Isaac's coming, right? So we pull up around back. Man, Malcolm, I ain't going to the front door, man. I'm like, look, man, it's fine, man. We go in the back door, man. Everything's cool. So we go in the back door. He has no idea what's going on. We're sitting in that office waiting, man. And she comes running in buck naked. I'm talking buck naked. It jumps on his lap, man. I've never seen a man that happy in my yeah. life. Oh, yeah. He lit up like a Christmas tree, <laughs> dude. He's like, That's the greatest, he's like, that was the greatest Christmas present anybody ever got me, man. He he's like, like he was Christmas about to cry. Yeah. And she ended up hanging out with us for oh, three or did. four days. He just waited till you left. He did cry. <laughs> you know he did. Yeah. Uh, ask Hayes ever tell you uh, why he stopped uh, doing South Park? Huh? You know he was do doing South Park. I knew he was doing South yeah. Park, but he didn't ever stop until he died. No, no, he stopped doing it before he died. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, man, they were messing with his uh, religious on now. Oh, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember right. that. I do remember that. Yeah. yeah but wonder, that wasn't I was just really. If he, ever, if he ever talked to you about that? Hey, hey Jason, can you bring me my cigs, man? I get to talking. Hey, I'm telling stories today. That's yeah, a good it's deal. good. It is good, man. Hey, and you got some great ones, man. Hey, what a life! You know, what a life! I've man. had. You know what? Hey, um, you need to holler the holler the son, man, because you know he got a um, a app called Fan Base. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, man. He does. Yeah. I'll look that up tonight. Yeah, hip, hip hop independent right artist, man, big time. Anyway, how goes it? Going good. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, brother. Hey, um. Okay, so anyway, we better get on the beaten path here. Yeah, get back to the topic well, again. Man, I love better. it. Though. I know you guys have heard my story. I before. love them though, dude. I no, love them. No, man. What are you, you know talking what? about Isaac? But where did I hear that? I, you know what? I think I did realize at the time that that when I back in the day when we were doing when real records were made, and that's not knocking on anybody now. It's just true. When, the way it was, the way it, it was the way done. Yeah, you know, the engineering. Yeah. The the whole process. You had to be a, a specialist. 
You know, you wasn't a, just a computer hacker freaking yeah. messing around. Hey, and, and the, the guys just, who were doing beats, they were doing it on uh, NPC 2000 XLs. They had to be experts at what they were doing. Yep. Um, they had to the know guy, that machine. You know, the way we flew vocals and stuff on on hip hop records, the way we did rock records, everything was so pure. But and, the players and so cool. were so much purer than too. They, they were, were polished. Man. They was off into the yeah. off into the crowd. Yeah, that's yeah, it's it, like, man. you know, I'm not trying to rag on the rappers today, but you want to talk about a great rapper? That's Tila, and maybe because I recorded him. But a guy that was totally underrated. I mean, he sold a million records. I have a platinum record from his from one of his records I did with him. But he underrated rapper. Yeah. I need to call him and get him yeah. over here. Yeah, you a do. lot of them, a lot of them cats was was overlooked just because um their contents. You know, what I mean, they put some club bangers out, but at the same time, if you listen to the other music, man, they was it was a lot of their content that that didn't get the get message they were given. Yeah, yeah. They, they didn't get them across that uh that, yeah. that, that, to the other well, side. Well, I, I think the content they were doing in Junior, though, would be okay today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it'd be after, perfect. But, it'd be but perfect. At, but at the time, it was so controversial. It's like what, well, it, you know what's like Buffalo said from Nappy Roots? It's like, you know, you almost have to hit a certain, like, special part yeah. Yeah. To, to really hit as an artist. It because is. what you're saying makes all the difference in the world. It's yeah. the reason why rock and roll isn't connecting. Now, I have to admit, now, speaking of rock and roll, Guys, I did a little research this morning on our on our band that we were talking about. Nothing more, man. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's great. pretty cool. Great. They, their their um, hip hop their hip hop influence and club influence is 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 really awesome. Yeah. And those are the songs that I enjoy most Me out too. of them. The um, digital stuff. And if you guys know, if you guys know that guy and nothing more, what's his name again? Jo- Jonathan, Johnny Hawkins. Johnny Hawkins. Johnny Hawkins. Um, trying to get Johnny Hawkins on here and. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah. Rock and roll <laughs> hey, band. Hey, 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 I talked to Jonathan Montoya last oh, night. Oh, Montoya. I was trying to get him to come today so bad. I'm like, come uh, on over, man. Come on, Montoya. Come on. Montoya, get your ass over. Get your ass in here, boy. Get your ass over. Well, that, that, that group that uh with the little chick in it that's uh, up north, man, you really need to try to get the, get them on that Surge uh, uh tour, man. Well, what what what, what chick? The, the Surgeon tour. Um, the, What's the little Aria? Young? All right, the little young group that you got. Oh uh, yeah, the yeah, other yeah. LA, the other LA. Yeah, man, you need to get them on that on that sur- uh, surgeon uh, tour, man. Man, that, you know what? Uh, that that'd be a great because they they gonna be playing in front of, front of some bikers, man. <laughs> they are gonna let them know where they stand. I did enjoy. I did enjoy writing that tune. Us two writing that tune. Yeah, man. I know, man. I, I wonder you... when that's gonna see. I don't it, know if if, if it sees a lot of day. Yeah, you never know, man. We wrote a few tunes. Yeah. Those are hey. good ones. Bro. Yeah, man. I she's, enjoy just a, she's just an amazing person. She is. She's a great person. What and, a and, what a great band too. And, yeah, man. Just a good. Just man. She could get. You can't get no better. No, than her. She's just an absolute sweetheart. She's and a fun a to solid, work with. A she solid loves player, and, and she brings yeah. out the best in the guys, man. That's yeah, the she, best thing about it. I'm telling you, man. She really she, does. She's wicked live. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's, she's oh, like she's crawling she. around on the floor. The first time we seen her together. Jesus. Oh, she crawling on floor playing. Oh, dude, she's a whole different person. Oh, she is a whole different beast. No, no. She changes into in a completely different personality, Junior. Like she is a sc- complete split person. personality. When yeah. you see her on stage, man, her hair's all wicked and shit. Yeah. She's looking all pretty and shit. Yeah. I mean, she freaking throws down. She does. I'm talking like, like tears she, that shit. She up. intrigues you to really watch the show. Like no yes. matter what you're doing, your eye, and man, everybody's eyes are all yeah. on her. Just watching Period. her play in the studio, man, and watching the other guys playing, man. I'm sitting up like <laughs> this, is like the first solid group that you had come through here in a long time yeah yeah when and i said solid the guitar players like everybody everybody player. playing not oh, you yeah. ain't doing He's no it. tuning no nothing you they out there playing yep oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah oh you're talking about, about you're fever talking slip. about fever slip fever yeah. slip that's, that's what i'm one. talking about fever yeah. slip is a, hey they some bad whole motherfuckers whole another man. ball game hey, hey, hey no fever slip that's a class of that's, the, a, class, that's dude. a class of that's class that's you know yeah, we don't even the I, other group of solid but a fever slip oh they're a whole nother level that's who you need to get on that surgeon tour man because guess what if they can make that surgeon guess what they hit i ain't gonna lie <clears throat> I'm hoping and praying that so that, that, that record so you, drops in the next month. <laughs> Dude, we really need it to, man. No, man. Not only that, man. It's deserving. It, when people hear that record, they'll understand right. what we're saying. Like, right. it's such a moving piece well, of work. I'm taking a little bit of a break from producing, but I'm ready to get back at it. To be honest, doesn't it, doesn't it excite you though to take a little break and like? Yeah, it's just time to get back at it, man. Whoa, I love let's get us one. Records. Let's get us one. Records. It looks like we're going to the Ville Billies. The Ville Billies. Yeah, looks like looks like it. Looks like we're gonna do bring some them on. Bring them on. 
It doesn't matter who it is, does it, All right, all right let's get back on the scheduled program here. <laughs> we got a scheduled program. Yeah, we do. We uh, keep something uh, together. Uh, all right, all right. We're keeping something together. Okay, so let's go to, you know what? Before we do that, I want to talk about the fucking traffic here in that. Dude, it's freaking ridiculous. Look, dude. humans, it's a gas pedal, a brake, and a steering wheel. Not that big of a deal. Yeah. Get your shit together and start driving. Stop this fucking bullshit sitting there. A policeman's got yeah. one car pulled over, and all these motherfuckers. Everybody's got to get over. Everybody's got a rubberneck. Stop Dude. rubbernecking and drive your yeah. fucking car. Get Move. the fuck out of my way. <laughs> no, fucking, well. I'm going to tell you, I came back here. I'm like, man, I'm if he had been working on something, man, I'd have been like, let's get me in there right now. I'm about to go yeah. off about them stupid son of bitches. Dude, it's ridiculous. Drive the fucking car. If you were an alien like me, my spaceship, it's got all kinds of controls. You can go up, down, backwards, forwards. You can go You can go sideways. You can turn this way. You can turn that way. You, you can, can turn go around. 3,000 miles an hour in a split second. Guess what? Guess what? You can't with a car. It's easy. It's a steering wheel, a brake, and a fucking gas pedal. It's not that fucking hard. <laughs> Put no, that as a goddamn hey. short, fucking motherfuckers. No, Stupid fucking suckers. motherfucking cocksuckers. I'm going to tell you one thing. I have never seen people so stupid in my fucking life. Dude, it's so bad. Well, here's Stop a, being it, stupid. Here's the fucking problem with Nashville, though. We don't have enough room for the shit anyway, so we got everybody coming here. You got the fucking bachelor. Just okay, drive. yeah. Just, just go. Just go. Uh, yeah. You don't have to sit, sit around, yeah. man. You ain't got to look it at ain't it. It's hard to do. Just drive. Well, I will say today we had strong ass winds, right? I work downtown. These cranes, you can bring this up, Jackson. These cranes are spinning. The wind's so strong, the damn cranes are spinning around up there. Nobody's in them. Man, <laughs> I don't want to say something out of control here because I'm about to, man. Man, I don't, even, the, I don't the even driver, want to wish it, anything, but I tell you what, some dumb some bitches, man. You know what? You should get a ticket for driving stupid. You should. There should be a law against driving fucking yeah. stupid. Yeah. If you drive stupid, you get a ticket. Yep. All you got to do is just keep driving. Yeah, just Stop go. Stop driving stupid. Yeah, go. Simple. Yeah. Okay, now I've gone up on a ramp. Now, the worst that. one, the worst <laughs> one, though, the worst one, you know, the cop pulling somebody over, of course, that's going to slow it down. The worst one is that guy that's got to do that turn. He's got to go into the left lane before he goes over. You know what I mean? Ain't no, hey, I get it. Hey, but the worst hey, one. Yeah, hey, look at this. That's why I'm going off about that. Life is good. And it's the, <laughs> it's the truckers. I like, I like that sweater, man. It's the truckers that I'm talking about. They got to do the swerve. Oh. You know, and, and in Nashville, they can't turn nowhere, dude. So you're blocked up downtown all the time, man. Yeah, These damn 18-wheelers do. It's why, always messed yeah, up. They, here, need a, they need to redesign downtowns where the truckers got a line in and a line out that don't mess with nobody else, man. Are we not smart enough to figure that shit out yet? I don't know. Man, this is one city that um, tried to keep it from growing, but it doesn't. It doesn't there ain't grow, no man. chance here, buddy. They should have when they when they extended the interstates and all that stuff. They should have put extra lanes. Oh yeah, a couple. But now they go, which in another year or two they're gonna go they back gonna have to. and extend some more lanes. They should have been making them lanes like Atlanta. When they redone yes. them, they should have made yep. them like Atlanta. Yep. I mean, it's the same concept. We got a loop around town. Yeah. You know, it's the same same thing. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> And it will it, it relieve it made made more easy. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I looked down and I saw Lopez Obama Boer. Okay, the president right. the president of Mexico has has a picture of a woodland elf. A woodland elf. And it's called he says it's a lux from the Mayan folklore. Can you pull that thing up? I gotta see this shit. A wooden elf. Look at that. That looks like a monkey with a costume on, man. Zoom in on that, Jackson. That's as close as you probably can get. Yeah, it's probably as close as you can get. Man, I don't know. I don't know. That looks pretty. That's pretty wicked right there. How can he tell? Because I can't even really just tell on that picture. <laughs> I don't see shit. Got them cocaine eyes, don't I? <laughs> he, 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 on too much, yeah, he on too much powder down there. <laughs> he, he, he been hanging with Chapo. Yeah, yeah, he got somebody <laughs> to pack down there. Chapo, Chapo locked up, but he got no, somebody to no, pack. No, guys, he's hanging with, with, with L F O. L L F O. Yeah, yeah, F -O. <laughs> yeah he's doing snow, the old snow, the old. Yeah, he's doing some snow, but oh, man. I'm, that's why I had to lift my glasses up. I'm like, yeah. 
What's really going on yeah, over here? I mean, I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, he, he on it hard right there, man. Uh, all, right, all right, all right, all right. Here we Say go. Say no to drugs. Yeah. All right, so now let's go to this Dilbert creator guy. The Dilbert. guy who identified as a black man. Um, <laughs> Dilbert. <laughs> the racist, he made racist comments. He don't want to be a part of the black culture anymore. He identifies as white now because he says... That the black culture, or uh, as a race in itself, or a hate race, uh, the, the, this guy needs his ass whipped, um, <laughs> big time. Yeah, man. Uh, man. He just, Malcolm, what it is? He's just mad because that black ain't in him no more. <laughs> 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 uh, somebody else pulled that black up out of him. Pulled the black man, out. I hate to say it, but I think the press is right. About I think the press somebody else might have right. knocked dust from him, man. man you man, know, well, it, the thing about it is, he, he's man, heartbroken. He's upset. That's a, it. Sound yeah. like a sound like a better woman. Yeah, he, he sound like he, a better woman. That dude was getting the, the black. Yeah, he was yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was somebody was giving his wife at meat. Or well, giving his daughter that meeting that went back and, and, and he thought about it. <laughs> Bitch, you kissed me. <laughs> yep, that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they put that sauce on her face and you don't went and kissed that glaze off her face. <laughs> and he mad about it. But <laughs> he can't get mad because they oh. they enjoy that sauce. Okay, listen. Speaking speaking of haze or, or sauce on the face, we got Megan Hall here. Now uh -huh. she, they say that the policemen out there at the Laverne Police Department, they groomed her for sexual exploitation. Okay, so let me ask you something. Has anybody seen the actual video of her getting the freaking, you know, get slammed? Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Well, from what I hear, it doesn't look like she's uh, resisting arrest or whatever you want to say. <laughs> and wouldn't it, uh, I mean, typically, I mean, I would say, wouldn't those accusations come out first? Before right, right. Now, before you got late, caught, Megan, we're gonna get you on a podcast, girl. Ain't yes, no doubt know, about it. We, we want you to come on the podcast. This goes to what I, I really this, hate. This, this goes to what I've been preaching. I really hate, though. You know, if it is that this, way, this I goes really what hate I've been preaching. Listen, Make they legal. need to legalize <laughs> prostitution. Put them around the truck stops, <laughs> around the old folks' home. Because guess what? You would cut back on a lot of this bullshit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get to the money. Come on, Get here. to the money. Hot, man. Hey, man, go Come. ahead with it. What did he say earlier? He said, Best uh, thing going is hoeing. <laughs> Best thing going is hoeing. Hey. <laughs> Let the ladies do what they do. <laughs> Get it. All right. Won't nobody get locked up for it. Won't nobody get in trouble. Guess what? Let them enjoy themselves. If that's what they want to do. That's what they doing. Okay. And pay to play. Hey, everybody out there, listen to this. Pay to play. Here's the deal. Me and Junior, we are on a mission to find our boy Case Tractors a woman. <laughs> and if if you're an available woman that's pretty, what, what, what age bracket? Oh, man, whatever you guys uh, recommend. Okay. okay, so we're going to say from 20 to, to, to 35 years old. And uh, you you need you need somebody. and it's open minded. <laughs> <laughs> you feel know, me? Keep your yeah, eye, yeah, baby. And it's open minded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like Junior style. If, if if you like smoking pot and you like watching TV, four twenty friendly. <laughs> four twenty friendly. <laughs> Y'all got the lingo down, huh? Y'all got the lingo <laughs> down now. Four twenty friendly. Jackson, we don't like that. We don't like that dope from in mind. Hey, you don't mind, guys? Yeah, that dope right there. Yeah, let's call it a good tater talk. And get out of here. You want to get out? Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah.